We're out here in a cornfield uh, in Manhattan that its history is that it's been in long-term continuous corn production. This particular field I know for a fact has probably been in corn for at least 10 to 15 years every year. What we're looking for when we're trying to identify root lesion nematode problems are stunted areas in the field. That's very typical of nematode damage. If we look at the plants immediately behind me here, we can see that these plants are about two feet tall. They come up to my knee. If we stretch the leaves up, they probably come up to about mid-thigh. If I move forward here into what I am calling our, our stunted area here, you can see that these plants just few, a few rows away are now at about shin level. And if I stretch them up, maybe they come up to about my knee. So they're probably about a, a full foot shorter than the plants immediately behind us. As I look at this area of the field, it doesn't appear to be a noticeable wet spot. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any other factors uh, immediately present that would contribute to uh, what might be the potential cause of the stunting. So that makes this a, a prime opportunity to take a, a plant sample to check for nematodes. Sampling for nematodes at this time of year is very easy. What you basically need is just a, a common spade. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to put the spade in the ground uh, about six inches away from the stalk. And you want to dig down and try and, and get as large a a chunk of the root mass as possible. Now, we don't need all of the soil here, but we want to leave some soil around the roots. So typically, we would break away a lot of what I would call the excess soil. And so uh, if we have uh, a plant and approximately that much soil to go with the roots, uh, that would be ideal. Uh, typically, we would want to collect two or three or four plants like this. We'd also want to go and collect one or two of what we would consider the healthier plants and so that we have them for a comparison. Once we've dug the plant up uh, from the ground and we have a small amount of soil left around the roots, then the next thing we want to do is simply take an appropriate sized plastic bag and just drop the entire plant and, and soil mass in it, seal it shut, and then you would take that into your local county cooperative extension service office. In, in preparing the samples for shipping, uh, it would probably be best if you kept the uh, healthy plants bag separate from the suspect plants. Uh, there would be a form for you to fill out there. They would mail that to uh, the K-State Plant Disease Diagnostic Clinic. Cost for nematode sampling at Kansas State run $12.50 per sample. And in about uh, 10 days to two weeks, uh, we would have a reply back to you. If uh, the plants are somewhat larger, uh, then you may simply want to use a, a larger bag, but the, the process would be the same.